Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. It's Friday. You know what that means. Another episode of Friday's Finds. We had a couple of packages show up this week. One of them showed up this week. One of them showed up last week. And one of them showed up the week before. That's right. We've got three different things. We have a new sponsor, a new channel sponsor, a returning channel sponsor, and a product that I, I wanted. We'll start with that one. This is, this is something that I've been using for a long time in the, in the RV, but I don't have one in the truck. <laughs> Look at that, a bag and a bag. I don't have one of these in the truck kit, so I've added, check this out. Th these are cool. This is by Camp Made. If you cook with charcoal, you know that a, a charcoal chimney is the way to get your charcoal started. This one is so cool because it's compact. It's camper friendly. Check this out. You, you know, it's got a, even a, it even has its own bag. How's that for convenience? Now, uh, they do, they hold up really well. Uh, the one that I have in the motorhome has some discoloring and I've started so many different, uh, so many charcoal fires with it. It's, it's a little bit cranky when you go to fold it, but I love it. That's why I bought another one. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, you're gonna get to see how it works shortly. Now, our returning channel sponsor is Devos, Devos. Now they, if you've been watching and you watched the, the episode with the fire pit, I went out and I found grapes. So that I could cook on it. Well, the devil screw saw that. They said, well, it looks like the food you're cooking is really good, but you need better grates. Turns out they actually have grates for their fire pit. So we're going to be exploring that. Speaking of fire pits, this is the new channel sponsor. They sent us some cool stuff. Actually, some hot stuff. This is Bigfoot Bushcraft. They actually have provided us with an emergency fire kit. Now they specialize in, in fire starting. Primitive, not primitive. Well, I guess you could say primitive fire starting. Their claim to fame is in this bag right here. Check that out. You break these apart. It's like a cotton ball that's full of paraffin. And their emergency kit Comes complete with instructions, a feral ferris rod, and a striker. We even have a spare striker and ferris rod. That's also a bottle opener. Never know when you're gonna need to open a bottle. It's a wrench. Not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with that. Pick your nose, maybe. It'd be kind of <laughs> so, so. So right now, let's go over here. Uh, let's see if we can we can spark a fire. We are we are kind of in a, in a little bit of a burn band, but it's super wet because we got a lot of rain the other day. So I think we're safe here on the patio, out of the wind. 
and it just so happens that I've got this metal pan. Ah, we can, there we go. You see now. Oh, look at that. Oh, what? It just fired right up, didn't it? That's pretty cool. Who needs a torch? I don't know how long it's supposed to burn. We'll see. While y'all are watching that. I'm gonna use the bottle opener. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have too much video to shoot. I'm surprised at how long that is actually burning. That's pretty dang impressive. According to the package, it says five plus minutes of burn time. Well, I think we got that. Easily got that. All right. That's pretty cool. Bigfoot bushcraft. Bish, but, but, All right. So the, the kit, Includes a, a watertight tin for you to put your fire plugs in, a ferro rod and a striker, and a second striker. I guess that's in case you lose the first striker. And the strikers and ferro rod, ferrous rod, fit inside the little pouch here so you can have that with you. So I'm going to reset. I'm going to put together the Devos fire pit. We're going to see if we can light some charcoal with the Bigfoot bushcraft, the Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs. Hold on. We're going to see if we can light a fire with this, a charcoal fire with this. And we're going to see if we can cook some food on these. They kind of feel a little bit oily, so I got to get them hot first. So let me let me reset, and we'll play with some more fire. <laughs> this is not backpack friendly. This thing is heavy, but but. That's one of the things that makes it makes it good.
there, in case you haven't seen it, this, this is the devil's fire, portable fire pit. And in my first video, I, I gave you some wrong information. I said that was stainless steel with an anodized coating. I was like way wrong. That's carbon steel with a, an anti-rust coating of some kind. And that sucker is heavy duty. So now we're gonna see if we can get a charcoal fire going. A big mess of charcoal in the new chimney. Now, according to the instructions, there's supposed to be some kind of raised edge on here that you find, but uh, I don't find a raised edge. Well, not... It worked. All right, so we're going to see if we can leave this in one thing rather than breaking it into two. Try that again. There we go. It lit. You see that, don't you? It's burning. All right, now we're going to put. My concern is that the chimney sits a little too high. We'll see. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. We're getting a little smoke, so we must be getting on the charcoal. <laughs> yes, indeed. And le leaving it in one piece allowed it to we get a little bigger flame, I think. Oh yeah, I smell a charcoal now. You can't smell it, but I smell it. I smell it for you. The portable chimney. That actually is backpacker friendly. It's primarily made for, according to their their literature here, they designed this for uh, Dutch ovens. It's a unique twist on traditional concept of quickly heat charcoal. It'll hold 40 briquettes. It's lightweight and portable. It'll actually fit into a 12 inch Dutch oven. I don't, I don't guess they intended for backpack use, but yeah, you probably wouldn't want to carry around a chunk of metal in a backpack. But if you did, that would be handy. So we, we, we do have one briquette that's ignited, so I'm going to add another burning let's see let's see how long it takes to catch some charcoal on fire yeah. we're actually we're getting we've got some heat going here so hang tight we'll have a charcoal fire pretty quick again to see how the charcoal's burning we're doing good. So two, two. It only took two to get it going. Dump some charcoal and burn off those new cooking grates. And 
It is a practically perfect fit. They snap right on. Space between the grills is a little bit on the wide side. You're not going to be cooking any skinny hot dogs on there. All right. Let me burn, burn off the oil that's on the grates and then we'll start cooking some food. Charcoal is almost ready and we're gonna be throwing on some chicken, but not just any chicken. This, this is the best chicken. It's marinating in the bag right now. And what we're marinating in, we put some Holy voodoo, this stuff is awesome. This is by Meat Church Barbecue. A little bit of cayenne, red cayenne pepper, my favorite. And then some Costco honey and olive oil. Of course, you wanna add the olive oil that kinda of helps the stuff to stick to the chicken. I'm gonna put it in Ziploc bags and marinate it for couple hours. I don't have to marinate it very long. Get a good coating on all, everything. Make sure you use plenty of this. This stuff is just, I cannot say enough good stuff about the holy voodoo. It's addictive. Try it and you'll see what I mean. Right, we're ready to cook some chicken. It's, pretty, it's really hot, but that's okay. We want it to be really hot when we're cooking chicken. This devil's fire pit. You don't have to worry about stoking the fire. It has got such great airflow. This is a chicken breast, but man, that looks like a turkey breast to me. That thing's huge. Huge, I say. Fire going here. Fire, fire, fire. Clash Alpha Fire. On the patio deck. Chicken is burning. Let me get down there and put it out. I think I have a little too much meat for the grill. <laughs> I had to put cooking on hold because my neighbor, when he mows, he puts it at the lowest possible setting. And it's throwing up so much dust and putting so much stuff in the atmosphere, I, I, it's getting on my food. <laughs> so when, he, when he's done, we'll cook some lamb. I moved the chicken breast to the gas grill so that it won't get any more crap on it. Breast, they turned out really good. They may be, may be a bit overdone, We're about 194 degrees. So, but they look good, and I know that that seasoning that we put on there is freaking awesome. All right. He's almost done mowing, so we're gonna start cooking lamb shortly. Little bitty lamb chops. Why is it that Sam's lamb chops are like tiny and Costco lamb chops are like huge. I, I don't know. That's one of those questions. So when I cook my lamb chops, I like to stand them up on end first and let them cook 
standing up on the bone. Of course, when they're little bitty, it's kind of hard to get them to stand up. All right, all right, all right. We're cooking some lamb. Kind of hard for you to see it because I moved the coals over to the near side. So I typically cook the lamb chops 10, 10, and 10. Thereabouts. 10 minutes on end and then 10 minutes on each side. The GoPro's acting weird. How, how odd is that? We are on the third turn of these beautiful little lamb chops. Won't be long now and we'll be eating. All oh, thanks to the, the Devil's Fire Pit Slash Lamb Chop Cooking Grill. I'm not going to do the eating part on video. I just wanted to exemplify how well this thing cooks and man it it cooks really good. The whole thing. I just I love this this flat pack fire pit slash grill. I'm really excited that they actually have gave me some gr a grill to put on top of it because it doesn't slip slide like the other one did. And I, I think that brings us to the end of our of our, of our video here. This Friday's find has come to the conclusion. If you want to learn more about the Devil's Fire Pit or the Devil's line of products, there's actually a link in the description below. Make sure you use the discount code DUDERV10. That'll give you a little extra, little extra incentive to click on their website. Use code DUDERV10. If you're interested in learning about the charcoal chimney, it's actually featured both the charcoal chimney and the Bigfoot Bushcraft products are on Amazon and there is a link there's a link in the card right up there as well as in the description below for in the hey if you enjoyed this video I would be very grateful if you'd click on that thumbs up and share me across your social media it really helps with that dang YouTube algorithm thing that nobody really knows how it works but we do know if you click on the thumbs up and share it on social media it helps us creators so please do that if you found some value out of this if you've not already i would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been have been following along man that's why i'm out here on the patio cooking up a meal to eat thank you for that i really appreciate it and for my patrons thank you you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?